I know. I know definitely some people will not understand why I am doing this. I know definitely some people will come fighting. I know definitely to some people it will not sit well with them. But you see, with my experience in the game, sometimes if I see some of these things and I pretend I've not seen them, maybe out of fear, maybe out of the fact that someone will say, why is Sammy Flex doing this or that, then I'm doing myself a harm and I'm doing the industry no good. Once again, it is not because I am specially affiliated or attached to someone that is why I have to tackle this. It is because I'm just looking around and if I realize someone is doing this to another person, I'll not be happy. So why would I sit here and feel like everything is okay and let things be the way it is? No, everything is not okay. Now, what am I talking about? Let me go straight to the point. Let me hit the nail on the head and not beat about the bush. Number one. It is between Kwejo Sheldon, once again, and what he has started doing about Shatawale and his works. We all know what has happened. I'm not sure I have to go back to it. Maybe to those who might be new on this issue, I can give them a, a little brief or a background according to what I'm about to talk about. Where for Shatawale and Kwejo Sheldon, they were involved in a banter here and there, and it ended that, okay, I am Shatawale. You are Kwejo Sheldon. I'm a content creator. You're also a content creator. That is fine. But henceforth, to me, don't use anything concerning me for your content creation. Do everything you want to do in this world. But to me, my name, my products, my works, don't touch any of them in your content creation. Just do it. And don't mention my name. We did not know what really was the penalty. Should he mention Shatawale's name? We did not know. Whether it was official, unofficial, spiritual, physical, we did not know. The only thing we also saw was that Kwejo Shaden, another video, also came back and said, okay, if this is what um, Shatawale is saying, he has agreed. His content, he's never going to use again. In fact, his song that he was using to introduce his program, he's not going to do it again. And again, I even heard some people saying some of the words that he's even done his name. He was ready to take them out from his channel or whatever. I know it was going to be a hell of a task because um, Shatawal is one of the guys that uh, content creators have really done so much work about him. So if you say you're going to take away Shatawal's content from your channel, then obviously it is going to be a great deal of work. But of course, he could do it if he wanted to. If he wanted to, he could do it. No two ways about that. So we thought that was going to be the end of it because I know Kojo Sheldon has a plethora of content that he can do or he is doing anytime, anytime. And he is always active producing one content or the other. In fact, the good thing about Kojo Sheldon is that his content cuts across politics, social, sports, almost everywhere he is doing something from that arena. So that was fine. And we thought if this is what both parties want, then there will be peace. At least everybody will wake up knowing that we are living in a peaceful condition. Nobody is against anybody. Nobody is mad at each other. But of, 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 of course, we woke up and the story seems to be different this time around. And what am I talking about? We have been seeing tweets. Tweets provoking one person. And these are tweets from Kojo Sheldon. Obviously, provoking Shatawali. And I know. There will be some people who will not see anything wrong with this until maybe one day Shatawale starts ranting. I know some people who will not say anything about this until maybe one day Shatawale also reacts. In his reaction that we cannot measure, in his reaction that we cannot quantify, in his reaction that we cannot calculate, whether it will come big, it will come small, it will come medium, it will come high or it will come low. Nobody can calculate, nobody can predict it. But I'm sure we are all watching. It did not start now. It did not start yesterday. But my interest is in the recent happenings. My interest is in the recent happenings. Where some two tweets from Kojo Sheldon obviously suggest that he is mocking at Shatawali. Now, let's go on to the first one. So, on 21st March, 2023, around 3.59 p.m., this is what he tweeted. 200 songs, no nominations. Ow. 200 songs, no nominations. Ow. And if you and I, 
we want to be very objective we want to be very honest we want to be very truthful we don't need any angel to come from heaven to come and tell us who Kwaju Sheldon is talking about if you if you want to behave like you don't know then your hypocrisy I've not seen one before in this world if you want to believe like you don't know who Kwaju Sheldon is talking about then I don't know what kind of person you are once again if you claim you don't know what Kodja Sheldon is talking about, then you don't have any problem or you don't have any case to be part of our showbiz industry in Ghana. We all know that Kodja Sheldon is in this particular tweet mocking Ashatawali. But why should it, this even be mockery? To, be start, to, to start with, one, we know Shatawale isn't even part of the VGMEs. We know he's not part of it. Because of some 2019 issues that happened between him and Stoneboy, where the award scheme placed a ban on them. Now, after a year, the award scheme released the ban on them. Stoneboy joined, but to Shatawale, he thinks that for this reason and that reason, he does not want to join currently. And at the moment, we all know he's not part. We all know that when the award scheme opened its nominations for artists to file, we know he did not put in a nomination. We We know he did not file because he didn't want to be a part of it or he or he sees himself not to be a part of it so we know unless you are telling me you don't know all these things then i'll know your level of hypocrisy then i'll know that when you come and tell me i'm a hypocrite you your hypocrisy i've not seen one before in this world we know so if you come out and you write or you tweet that 200 songs no nominees how what do you intend to achieve what are you looking forward to achieve? What do you want to gain out of this? Now, let's move on to another tweet that I also saw. I'll be wrapping up very soon. We are not spending so much time here at all. In this tweet, he said, First A-list artist to release an album for no song to chat in the top 100. First A-list artist to release an album for no song to chat in the top 100. This was also made on March 25th. That is just last Saturday. And he comes again to write that. I have not mentioned anyone's name though. I have not mentioned anyone's name though. And me. I want to put it to Kojo Sheldon that in all these tweets, he should hide his hypocrisy if he thinks he is stronger. If he thinks he can do whatever he wants to do and still go scot-free, then he should be bold. And come out and say, Shatawale, this and that and that is what is happening to you. And that you've released an album and it has, it has not topped any chart in Ghana. In, in, in recent times, tell me which A-list artist has released an album. Check the date he made this tweet. Go back about maybe some one month or so back. How many A-listed artists have released albums that is calling for someone to be part of a uh, chat topping um, list anyway you see guys let's all be careful how we deal with people's emotions we all don't know what people go through in their closets we all don't know what people suffer when they are alone we all don't know what people do to get to where they are so when you do this especially this particular tweet that for first A-list artist to release an album for no song to chat in the top 100, it is just equal to trashing someone's effort. To. That's what it means. It means that you are trashing someone's effort. Someone who has struggled, someone who has worked extremely hard to get to where he is now, you are just trashing the person's effort. And I still want to believe that some of these things we should not encourage. Some of these things, we should not look at it and pass. And that when the next person comes to react or comes and does something, then we will all be against that person. Well, I know some people don't understand, but me, I'll talk about it. Yes, I know some people will be writing all sorts of comments, but they are not seeing all these things to condemn it. For the past days, I think for the past two days or so, since Saturday or so, I've seen how Shatawale has been going back to back with some fans on Twitter. I've been seeing it. You see, all these things, as a creative, 
if you have people who are leading, enabling others to misbehave like this, then you know what I'm talking about. And this, this tweet from uh, Koji Sheldon, these are just to enable those who are fooling to fool on Twitter. That is what he wants to achieve. To enable them to just start fooling. You can go check Sh Shatawale's tweet, I think, from Saturday, Sunday to now. It has been like that. It has been like that because they have gotten someone to enable them to misbehave. They have gotten someone to enable them to do what they are doing. And that is what we are seeing there. As a matter of fact, some of us, when we see some of these things, we will talk about it because we know that one day there will be a reaction. We know that one day someone will also do the same thing to retaliate. And that is where you see all those people who are pretending. Those who are watching with just one eye. Now, when the next person comes and he also reacts, you see them coming up with their two eyes. Now they can see clearly. I've talked about this before. And when I mentioned it, I know how some people came after me. Saying that, hey, why are you doing this? Why are you supporting everything Shatawali? No, I don't support everything Shatawali. When he does wrong on this platform, we say it. Even not me alone. All my panel members, anytime Shatawali does wrong, they say it. They only say it respectfully because we have to respect every person in this world. So even this, I'm talking to Koji Sheldon respectfully that sometimes, and I remember doing that, they made a statement that when there is a mad person, you don't go and poke the mad person. When there is a tiger or a dog sleeping, you don't go and poke the, the dog. And that when it comes attack, you say, hey, this dog, it doesn't have character. This is like a madman that he doesn't have character because you went to poke at him. Ever since you guys all agreed, when you made your last video and said this is the last time you are talking about Shatawale, and then Shatawale also agreed that yes, don't talk about him again. Everybody was cool. Everybody was fine. You've been doing your works. You've been doing your videos. So what, what is the meaning of all these tweets? To achieve what exactly? So what? Is it, is it pain? Is it anger? Like what exactly? So now I'm sure some people can really say that, okay, it is true. You can't live without mentioning Shatawali. Or you can't live without doing something, some of these things about Shatawali. Every time you just have to do something just to poke at him. Bro, it is not fair. It is not nice. Me, I would only say it. I would advise you that all these things, they are necessary. If you can stop them, they'll go a long way to help you, your career, and your brand. It is my humble appeal. I'm not here to fight you. I'm not here to attack you. I'm not here to abuse you. I'm not here to insult you. It is just as a brotherly love and as, as a colleague in the same industry here in Ghana, with a mindset of promoting our people to also compete in the world, some of these things are highly unnecessary. It is not by force that someone becomes your favorite. But even if the person is not your favorite, you don't also work at tarnishing the person's works. You don't also work at destroying the person's works. Someone just released an album. Do you know what went into creating an album? Do you know the effort, the cost went into creating an album? And you write a tweet like this, that first A-list artist released an album for no song to chat in the top 100. You are trashing the person's efforts. I'm not sure one day when someone takes your videos and says, oh, Kwaja Sheldon doesn't do any better video, you'll be happy. I'm not sure you'll be happy. Or someone says, oh, you have been doing 20 videos every day, but we check YouTube trends and your videos don't come in. You are doing nothing. Charlie, you'll not be happy. No matter how you see it, you'll not be happy because you, you, know, you, don't, you might not be happening or you might not be appearing in the trends on YouTube. You know your little gains. You know your little gains. Same way, Shatawale might not appear in the trends or in the top charts, but he knows his little gains. At least in these times, he was able to record a song with Vibes Cartel. You think it is a joke job? You think it is easy? You know the situation of Vibes Cartel. You know where he is now. And someone has been able to maneuver his ways to record a song with him, put it on an album, and you write a tweet to what? To discredit him? This is not fair. And if people would be very objective, they should condemn this. Just ask when Shatawale does anything that they don't like, they condemn it. If people are very objective, they should condemn this. They, nobody should come with that excuse. Oh, he didn't mention his name. He didn't mention his name. Is he the only artist? No, but if you do that, then your level of hypocrisy out of this world may be underwater. The level of hypocrisy might be underwater and not on this earth. You are destroying someone's work. 
this attitude it is distraction very distractive and i wish you all come forward and condemn it like you you live you breathe you eat you do everything if you ignore all these things sometimes we say artists love to chase clouds maybe i think when you share this way of chasing clouds there it is crazy he has a term cloud in back i'm sure this is what he wants to do to live he wants to be the chief cloud in back yes he wants to be the chief cloud in back because this this things you are doing you are chasing cloud because you do this and yeah the fans will come of course there are some people who also want some of these kind of conversation this kind of conversation uh, there are some people who are just waiting for this kind of conversation to follow so when you do some business and they come uh -huh. then you'll be happy then your clouds will come then you'll be happy mr cloutenberg this is not necessary bro i love your works the hustle is no joke this 